It's about 35 years ago since I first met Jerry Davis. I remember him coming to an exhibition opening that we had with Sean Keating in Salt Hill, himself and uh, Wolf Mankiewicz. And it's fair to say that we have been dear and, and very good friends and sparring partners ever since. <clears throat> I'd like to think that he isn't here this evening because he was afraid he couldn't match my tie with one of his <laughs> dreadful ties. He has even worse taste than I in ties. <clears throat> But actually, he is unfortunately recovering, or fortunately, he is recovering from an operation and can't be with us this evening. But it's a great pleasure to welcome his grandson, Kobe, and his daughter, Judy, uh, and Margaret Klitz, who runs his gallery in Dublin, uh, to be here. And equally, may I say, it's a very great pleasure to have with us this evening, Henry Burke, to open this exhibition. I don't know if words can do justice to an introduction of Henry, uh, and he's going to speak after me, so I think I'll just say that it really is a genuine pleasure. His family have also had a very long association with uh, Jerry Davis and his family, so to open the show, a Henry. Thank you. <coughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, Shalom, Gerald. Shalom. <laughs> Mazel Tov, Gerald, or in, in your tongue, this is a fucking brilliant show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honoured, no doubt, many of you are puzzled that I have been asked by Gerald Davis to open this exhibition of his latest work in, in Kenny's. As he wrote to me recently, it is in an oblique way the completion of a circle. Neil Montgomery, the late father of my sister-in-law, Ruth Burke, opened Gerald's first one-man show in Dublin. Neil, a poet, a writer, including being at one time the columnist of an Irishman's diary, though he never shot himself in the foot, unlike the present bastard, and that's the correct and proper usage of the word, Kevin. <laughs> Neil, an artist, an architect, a Joycean scholar, and a close friend, but perhaps the only friend of Samuel Beckett, had talents that I sadly lack, but I believe that he did share an aptitude for a subversity, a fact recognized only too well by so that's what brings me here. Well, there's, there's something else as well, and speaking of subversity, there's another family connection too regarding my sister Mary. When she was president, Gerald asked her to open a show in his gallery in Capel Street to mark its 25th anniversary. He believed his was the oldest gallery in the country to have operated <laughs> under the same name with perhaps a possible exception. <laughs> he rang Tom Kenny to check. When he told Tom that Mary Robinson was opening the show, he received an earful to the effect that it was disgraceful that she should ask a president to open what was in effect a commercial venture. And Gerard's response was, na, 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 na. <laughs> 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 Tom was great privilege. He had much pleasure in informing his friend that Kenny's was fully a year older than the esteemed Davis Gallery, and ended the conversation by nah. nah. <laughs> right. So turn the wheels of culture in this our beloved country. Mm -hmm. 